Transformation. Hey, what's up, my dudes? This is Progressive Transformation in the house. And today we're here to talk about the Holy Grail, the best, the legend, the best exercise for your pecs. We're talking about the bench press. Today we're going to give you the correct form and how to do the king of all chest exercises. And number one, you need to double check the weights on both sides of your bar. Okay, this is really basic, I know, but check it please. You're gonna look really stupid if you're lifting five kilos on the one side and 10 on the other, okay? Number two, clip the safety pin on the bar, okay? Uh, you also need to keep something in mind if you're doing the exercise alone in your house, you know, and uh, you're lifting and you go to uh, the failure, it's best you don't put the safety pin because the only way you're gonna get uh, under the weight is if you tilt the bar. Uh, so only uh, put the safety pin on if you have a spotter that can help you if you do fail and you cannot lift the, the bar any longer. No outro dia lembras-te o Luís, quando falhou o coiso e ele PUM! Yeah, yeah, estás a ver? Merdas assim, imagina estar sozinho em casa. Oh shit! Ok, number 3, you need to center the bar. Uh, it's uh, once again really basic, but it's gonna make a big difference in your lifting Because if the bar is slightly to the left or slightly to the right, you're not gonna lift the same It's gonna be more weight on the red uh, on the left side or on the right side So uh, it's one of those little things that can have a really big impact. So keep a close eye on it, okay? number four Okay, uh, you need to position yourself uh, in the bench so that your eyes are directly uh, under the bar. You uh, also need to check if you have uh, room uh, when you position yourself correctly for your head and neck behind the, the, the bench because you don't want to be pushing the weights when you're like this, you know. You need to have a solid uh, place to uh, rest your head. Uh, and yeah, that's number four. Uh, don't, for, uh, don't forget, you need to really be uh, with your eyes uh, behind, uh, under under the the bar. Okay. Okay. And number five. Okay. This is, uh, in my opinion, like one of the most important points you need to keep in consideration because uh, most people don't do this, and uh, it's really going to make a big difference on your injury rate. You will not uh, get injured as much and it's uh, going to make a lot of difference on the weight you also lift. You will lift way more if you do these uh, things I'm about to tell you. First of all, when you're laying on the bench, you need to uh, get your uh, shoulder blades retracted, okay, like this. You need to get your shoulder blades retracted and your uh, back firmly planted on the bench. You need to kind of uh, make it so it's a nice base for you to support the weight, you know. Uh, also, arch your back. You don't need to do a big arch like a powerlifting style uh, when uh, the dudes are really like uh, it looks like kind of a bridge with their backs. Okay, you just need to do a slight arc. But you do need to do an arc because um, uh, you will lift way more weight and you will not get injured as much. So it's really important for you. And uh, another thing, you need to uh, have your feet firmly planted on the ground. Uh, that is so you can have a leg drive in your uh, movement, okay? Uh, also, you need to uh, take in consideration that uh, you should have your uh, feet uh, the most uh, behind your uh, knees as you can comfortably, okay? If your knees are like in here, you should try to get your feet as far back as you can uh, comfortably and uh, in a way that your heels are also planted in the floor. Uh, in a, so that you can achieve this, it's uh, recommended to us uh, that you externally rotate your feet so you can have uh, your heels firmly planted while you're having the rest of your feet comfortable behind your knees. Okay, this is so you once again so you can have leg drive, and uh, I'm gonna explain what is leg drive uh, in, a, in a little bit. 
And number six, I'm gonna need more fingers in a while, okay. Uh, you need to uh, determine your uh, grip width. Uh, normally, and this is what I usually do when I'm uh, doing a bench press, I recommend that you go for a um, shoulder width, okay. You do it uh, like this, uh, like shoulder width, okay. And uh, you do like 90 degrees with your arms. But uh, a lot of people also like to have a more uh, wider grip because they can lift more that way. But I wouldn't really recommend you go uh, over 1.5 times your shoulder uh, width. Because when you start going above that range, it's really easy to start getting injuries and you're not going really to have more strength than at 1.5. Uh, the increase in strength is actually pretty minimal. So uh, yeah, if you don't want to get injured, I would advise you to not go over that limit. Number seven, the grip itself. There are some people that really like to do the tumblers grip, which is like instead of uh, going in the bar like this, you know, they go like this. You, you can see it's like the thumbs aren't really catching the bar. Uh, I don't know why they do this, uh, maybe because it looks cool, but it really isn't the best way to grab a bar, you know? Because uh, if you're pushing the bar in a tumbler grip and the bar falls in your chest, it's not going to be very pleasant, so don't do it, okay? Do a thumb, a thumb grip and try to approach the bar from uh, uh, below, okay? So you can have a grip in which the wrists are uh, 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 what's that? Straight. Straight, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number eight. You really need to think uh, beforehand where the bar is resting in the bar catchers, so you can have some uh, momentum to lift the bar. If uh, your uh, the bar is resting in a bar catcher and your arms are fully extended in order to uh, uh, release the bar, to unrack the bar. It's, uh, it's not really going to work, you know, because you need some some push, some momentum to get the the bar off the racks. So yeah, don't really uh, put the the bar in places where it's uncomfortable for you to uh, unrack it. Okay, uh, number nine. Uh, before you lift the bar, you're holding the bar like this. Okay, just crank your elbows a little bit in order to firmly. Uh, check if your back is planted and, the, uh, and if your shoulder blades are really retracted because you really need that solid foundation on where to push and press, okay? Uh, on where to press actually, you're not going to push anything, yeah. And number 10, I officially have no more fingers to count so it's going to be fun from now on. When you are unracking the bar, um, first of all, if you're going for maximum effort, get your uh, spotter to help you out so you can really go all out and you don't have that to exert that uh, uh, that little energy when you are unracking by yourself but uh, the second thing about unracking is don't unrack uh, up straight up do it like in a uh, in a curve okay uh, because this way it's going to be way easier for you to unrack the weight also if you are unracking without a spotter a good way to unrack is to uh, have uh, your uh, hips up uh, and unrack. Then when your uh, bar is in a stable position, you can uh, lower your hips and uh, get your glutes on the bench again. Number 11. Make sure you have four uh, points of contact along the bench. These points of contact should be your head, your shoulders, your... Uh, your glutes and your feet firmly planted on the ground. This way you will get a solid foundation on where to push. And I swear to you, we'll eventually start pressing, okay? I'm just... Uh, preparation is key on this exercise. Yeah, just, just that, okay, once again. Number 11. Take a deep breath and uh, expand the hair against your belly. Also expand your ribcage as much as you can. N number 13. You need to grip the bar as hard as you can and uh, choose between one of two motions. You can uh, try and split the bar in half and uh, do force like this in this direction or try to uh, uh, fold the bar in half and do like this, okay? Uh, you want to uh, exert force on the bar like this and really tightly hold the bar 
uh, for uh, why? Why do you want to do this? In order to really get your back tight and uh, maintain, maintain the tightness uh, along uh, the, the movement. You want to uh, do this uh, and also you want to, sc to squeeze your glutes while you're pressing also and tight the, uh, tighten your core. Okay, this is uh, so you don't have a, uh, any energy leaks during the press. Number 14. F 14. What the f 14? <laughs> 14. Number 14. Like this? Yeah, yeah okay. 14. Number 14. You want to uh, get uh, your elbows uh, making a 45 degree angle with uh, your torso. 40. Number 15. When built from the side, you want to make sure that uh, the bar path is downwards, of course, and uh, slightly forward. Number 16. You want to control the bar movement downwards and let it touch uh, around nipple level. And when it does touch, you can uh, give it a slight pause or you can just uh, go and do a continuous movement, okay? But I uh, myself like to give it a small pause and then uh, do uh, the, uh, the push again. And uh, also, uh, the movement up, you want to make sure it goes up, of course, and slightly backwards. But do not lose control of the bear or let it sit direct behind you, because that will uh, really uh, fuck up your momentum. And uh, yeah, that's it for number 16. <laughs> number 17. When, you, uh, when you're pushing the bar, you really want to do it in an explosive way. Uh, while you're, uh, uh, you have your uh, feet firmly planted into the ground. Also, you want to think about uh, pushing the floor with your feet. Pushing the floor away with your feet. And this is uh, leg drive. The leg drive I talked about uh, previously. The leg drive is going to be a really important uh, part in order for you to uh, get that explosive movement on the way up in your bench. Number 18. Concerning your breath, you can hold your breath until the bar is completely up. Uh, when you're in this position, you can inhale and then exhale, okay? And go back down, okay? Uh, hold your breath, go here, exhale. Inhale, go down. Number 18. Concerning your uh, breathing pattern, you uh, can uh, uh, hold your breath until you are uh, fully extended with your bar. And then you can exhale and inhale. Then you go back, hold your breath, exhale, inhale and rinse and repeat until you finish. Number 19. Last but not least. When you are racking the bar again, when you're in this position, don't try to do it in one fell swoop, okay? Don't try to be like, throw it back, okay? You will probably overextend something, it won't be fun, you'll get injured, you will not do bench presses for like six months. Nobody likes it, okay? What you should do is, first you get uh, the bar completely up, okay? And then you just gently let it slide to the back, okay? It will wreck itself, it's a magical thing. <laughs> it's a magical thing! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> so good! Oh my god. So good! <laughs> Number 20 Enjoy massive games! You like the gains, yes. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the girl. Oh. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Number 20. Enjoy massive girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God. So good. Okay, uh, okay guys. That was it for uh, today's video. It was a really new experience for me. It will probably turn out not of the best quality, but I, I love you guys, so it, it will be okay. It will be okay. So, you guys know, see you next time. Peace out.